Alright guys, here's the Mac desktop. We need to open up the terminal application. Let's use Spotlight and hit Command Spacebar. Terminal. Hit Return. And blow this up a little bit so it's a little bit bigger. What I want to show with this session is the NetTop command. The NetTop command, it basically allows us to monitor our network connections and when we can do that we can watch different things like software updates being downloaded to our device or connections to whatever it may be maybe you're connected to a file share you're going to be able to see that information and see if information is being transferred back and forth if you detect that you have some sort of malware and it's stealing your information you'll be able to see it with the NetTop command right um, so let's just make this a little bit bigger you can always type in man net top to take a look at what it can do uh, some of the basic features are that you're going to use the arrow keys to navigate the net top interface so I'm gonna hit Q here and next it out and type in net top and hit return within net top I'm gonna use the arrow keys to navigate so if I go to the right I'm gonna be able to see all this different different uh, data that's happening with all these uh, connections on my device on the left hand side I've got all my connections and if I hit uh, C I can collapse those connections and listening uh, uh, sessions so let me just hit C and now you can see it in a collapsed state if I want to expand it I hit E to expand it but what I want to do is I want to be more focused so I can choose different areas or things that I want to use uh, to basically uh, grab data out of here so if I want to just choose this area here that bites in right and I want to know how much data is being pulled down to my device. I'm going to watch that bytes in and see that information. I'm going to hit Q to exit out of NetTop and I'm going to type in NetTop minus M TCP because I want to use just look at I just want to look at the TCP connections. Ooh, Sorry I'm just getting that battery plugged in. <laughs> uh, okay so I want to look at the, net, uh, the TCP connections and then I also want to look at bytes in so I'm going to do a minus capital J and I'm going to type in bytes underscore in and I'm going to hit return now I see a lot smaller list I'm just looking at the bytes in I can see what things are actually uh, receiving bytes into the device and <clears throat> anything that has anything in it and will pop up into this list and I can monitor that but let's say I want to get even more focused and I want to do it just for the a, uh, ARD agent. So I can copy this name, hit Q, arrow up to pull in the last command that I typed. I'm going to add on a minus P and I'm going to paste ARD agent. And now we can look at just the ARD agent and see the data that is being transferred from it. Obviously nothing right now, but it's listening and that's what's going on with it so let's uh, let's use this in action and I'm gonna type in software update minus L and we're just gonna go take a look and see if we have any software updates which I know we do because I just checked this a little bit ago so we're gonna grab the software update and we're gonna show it being downloaded I would do this one, but I already downloaded that one. So I'm going to actually copy this guy. Whoops. Whoa. I'm going to copy this guy here. As you can notice, there's a space after that guy too. So I do have to use a sudo when I'm uh, running the software update. Minus. Well, actually, probably not with the download. Let me see. We'll check. Probably just with the install put it in quotes and hit go okay so it's downloading without administrative rights that's what the sudo would have done so let's open up another window and let's
take a look at our net top and we're going to get focused on this net top. So I'm going to stretch this out and we're going to do net top minus M. We're going to look at the TCP connections. Then we're going to do a minus capital J and we're going to look at the bytes in underscore in. And then we're going to do a minus P and it was store. Wait, uh, let me look here. Software update D. And then I'm going to hit enter. All right, so as you can see, my software update D task is pulling in. 109 megabytes. I can hit C to collapse that or E to expand that but it's kind of nice to see when it switches connections or it's doing different things um, but as you can see I'm watching it in real time download to my machine. Super slick super awesome way of seeing if something is pulling data from your device if something's uh, um, downloading to your device whatever you know whatever type of connection you're looking for this is one of the great tools that you can use that's built right into the Mac OS uh, for your investigation I hope you guys like the video and uh, if you haven't subscribed already get subscribed alright and you guys have an awesome day take care